Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of this web series about the Vistaprint website builder. I'm Ellen Greer, a product manager here at Vistaprint, and today we're going to talk about the most foundational piece of your website, which is elements. Elements can be text, images, social media links, buttons, many other kinds of elements can go on your web page. So here I am in the Vistaprint website builder. You can see we have a menu on the left and your site itself here on the right. So you'll notice a green plus button right here, which says add element. You're also going to see those green plus buttons in between all the elements that exist in the template you've selected. Let's start right here and click this. It's going to open up a menu which offers all the kinds of elements you can put on the page. Some of the most common ones, as I said, are gonna be text, images, buttons, social media links. Let's start with text. So here in the text category of elements, we have a couple of different sizes of titles as well as paragraphs. So let's put an H1, a title here on the page. All right, single click to edit. This is a great basketball program. All right. So you'll notice that as I'm working here within this text element, that there's a menu. Each of these menus are unique to the kind of element you're working with. So much like you'd have in a text editing document or in an email, you can see that you have font options, you have size options, as well as some styles. You can also change the text color. So let me select this and change it to orange. There we go. Another thing that you can do with this menu is delete the element as a whole. So the next thing that I'd like to show you is going to be images. Images are a really important part of a website. They're visually engaging and they help you showcase your unique identity and brand on the internet. We're going to use the green plus button again to add an element. It's right here in the popular menu. You can also look over here in the media menu for images. I'm going to select this image element. This has brought us directly to the drawer where you can work with all of your image files. So you can search for stock images. Let's do a search for basketball. And you can see all of these photos, which by the way are free for you to use and included in your subscription. You can select any of these. But let's say that I have a particular photo that I want to use. It's saved here on my computer. I'm going to go over to My Images, click this Upload button, and I'm going to choose this image of a basketball that I've saved on my desktop. So this right here is the cropping tool, which allows you to define how much of the image is going to show up on your page. So you can select a specific aspect ratio, for example, a one by one square, four by three, which is gonna be more horizontal, or three by four, which is going to be more vertical, or do custom. So I really want my entire basketball to be visible. I'm going to crop it just how I like it. I can also enter an image title and description right here and add SEO tags that I'm going to save. So now you can see that the basketball is here on the page exactly where that green plus button to add element had been. So with an image, you can resize it using this blue circle right here. It also has a menu of options, and of course you can delete it too. The next thing I'd like to show you is going to be buttons. Buttons are really useful for linking to external pages, to specific files, and most commonly to other pages within your website. So I'm going to add a button here in the buttons menu. We have a couple different button styles. I like this one. So I'm going to change the button text to say, learn more about us. And I'm going to add a link. I'm going to link to an internal page to the about page here in my website. So now this learn more about us button is linked to the about page. It's going to allow your website visitors to navigate around your website in multiple ways, both using the top navigation as well as using this button right here on the canvas. 
So today we learned about elements, which are the most basic building block of your website. We worked with text, images, and buttons. You learned how to add, edit, and delete each of those elements. Stay tuned for the next episode in which we're going to talk about laying out your website. Thanks everyone and see y'all later.